Hey YouTube, this is Steamy Biscuit with another tutorial. Um, not really much of a tutorial, more like more of a getting knowledge for the quad stick and how to understand the script. So uh, let's start from the basic. Let's say like if you first got your quad stick, you're trying to understand it. Uh, let's open up the quad stick manager wherever you installed it. You know, uh, I'll put the description below where to find it. Just the website. You're gonna get them here. Go to game files tab. Wait for it to load. I don't do this way, I do it my own way, but I'm showing you just like if you're starting off. And you're gonna get all these things you're like, whoa, it's a lot of files. But uh, let's start with the default configuration right here. So you have it right there, but you want to know how you can make your own script, you know, to each their own. Click on edit, it's gonna open up the internet file right here on Google Spreadsheets and it says view only and it'll be like how do I download this so I'm gonna go to file you may not be able to download but you can make a copy which is great let me make a copy of it click OK wait for it to go load there you made a copy of it and it's on gonna be on your own uh, well, your own Google, your own Gmail. And the great part about it, it's easier from here on end because if you notice, you're going to have this thing called Quasic at the end of it, which makes it a lot easier than trying to scan your own because when you click on scan users, it's going to ask you to put a, uh, your address and eh, I prefer my way. But anyway, back on to the tutorial. All right, once you make your copy, you can start messing around with it, which is great. You can choose however you like to do it. I'm just going to go over the basics for this tutorial. So we got column A, B, C, and D, or S, I believe. And uh, let's go with A. So what A is, it's like the output or command that the quad stick is supposed to provide. So starting from line 4 all the way to 44, those are the command those are the outputs that the quad stick can do and this is actually the outputs of a PS3 controller DualShock 3 that's the default and uh, right over here we have function what it does is uh, it kind of tells the quad stick how to perform the, uh, the output whether it be normal whether it be normal toggle repeat pulse duty greater than force off or delay latch I'll go over each of them to the best of my ability in a couple minutes. Over here we have the uh, how to perform it. So right now it's a USB because obviously the quad stick uses a USB attached to it. And it's the left joy. Right now we're on the left file. Like along here we have the left analog stick, the mix analog stick, the right analog stick and so on. I'll explain that later in detail but let's focus on how to perform the function. So we have a bunch of lists, some are blank. When it's blank on either side you're not going to be able to perform a function just because basically there's no way we can actually activate this function right here. But anyway, right SIP. That right there is the right tube on the right side of the quad stick. So right here it's telling you right in uh is it's describing the tube, sipping it is describing the action. So to uh perform the increment mode which is moving up one mode, you would right sip it. To decrement mode, which means to go down one mode, you would right puff it. And like I said, all the functions are normal, which means as long as you press it once, it will just activate for one tenth of a second. Next, the rest of these are all blank. I can actually adjust it. Let's say D-pad north, which would mean uh, the picture right below. I'll highlight it. That means D-pad up. There's nothing performing it, but I can implement it. Right here are all the commands 
or ways I can activate the button on the quad stick, whether it be from push, center, left sit, left puff, etc. And I'll explain each one uh, along the way. But since it's not implemented, there's no way to activate it. Well, let's just let's just click uh, right here. I put MP right sit. I can activate it by M by activating it on the quad stick. MP stands for mouthpiece. You know, quad stick has a mouthpiece. That's the thing you use to move around. Right means only the right side, which is the third hole, or the the third hole starting to the from left to right. And sipping is the action. So you would have I would have to sip the right hole once to activate D pad up. And you're probably also wondering why is it highlighted? Well it's highlighted because it's like a warning sign. Uh, Google spreadsheets is telling you that hey, you got two of the same stuff. Are you sure you want to have that? Uh, that is very useful. Uh, when I use my uh, configuration, but I'll explain it on tutorial part two, which goes more in depth. Right now is the basics. So right now I'm just going to delete. So let's move on. So these right here, six through thirteen, describe the D-pad direction. The most common ones used is north, east, south, and west, which is up, down, left, right, or uh, up, right, down, left, however you want to say it. And then fourteen through 17 describe the left analog stick of the controls so for this one left is like left joystick well left is left joy is a joystick that you're using left again is the direction it's actually pushing it to so this one means it's pushing the left analog stick underneath it is left joystick moving it to the right and etc left joystick moving up left joystick moving down and as you can see here left right down up and these are pretty basic so that means to activate on this on this uh, on this left analog tab to activate left joy analog stick you have to push the quad stick to the left right and down up to perform those tasks and as you can see, the rest are blank, but you can implement them if you want. So, 18 through 21 are actually describing the right analog stick of the controller that you're using or wishing to use. In this case, this is the PS3 controller because it's the default of the quad stick. So, it's actually controlling the right analog stick. So, again, you have right joy, which is right analog stick, and it's moving it to the left. And again underneath it, moving the right joystick to the right, and then moving right stick up, right stick down. Next, we have left one. Well, this one's a pretty straightforward. Left one, I mean, uh, 22 to 24 lines are describing the L buttons or left triggers of the controller you are using. So this one is left one. Which I'll put a picture. Then we got left two, and then we got left three. And uh, most of these are just the bumpers and triggers. They're the same for all of them. However, you like to see it, I'll put pictures of both of them if necessary. And on the right side is how to perform them. So on this side we got MP left sip. So just like what we had up here. We had MP right sip. If you guess right, it's almost the same thing, but just on the opposite direction, on the opposite location. So MP is short for mouthpiece. Left is the left hole, and sipping is the is the is the action. And that's how you perform L one. Like I said, can't ex express it enough. You can always change it to your liking. We're just leaving it as default so you can understand the default values of this profile. The next one's left puff. So same hole, left hole of the quad stick, but you blow into it. And then obviously 
This one's, you're like, whoa, this one's a little extra. So to perform the left three function, mouthpiece, left center, which means the left hole and the middle, in the middle one. So you have to blow both of them or use both of them. In this case, we're sipping into it. So that means I have to sip both holes at the same time to perform at left three. All right, that's pretty basic. Next, we got 25, 27. This is the right, the right bumpers, triggers, and stick functions. So just like the left, but on the right side. So we got the R1, R2, and R3. So I don't think I'll explain that one. And same thing, this one has the right sip. So that means the right hole, you sip it. And then the can for R2, right hole, you puff it. And then for right three, you right center puff, which means you do both of them. The right side and then the middle hole and then you sip it. I know I repeat myself, but I guess that's how we learn. All right, X. Well, this is confusing. Not really, but uh, so for PlayStation, we all know where the X button is. It's the first one on the bottom in that picture. But for Xbox users, it's actually the A button. So the only time I got confused is because I kept getting confused, which is the X on the PlayStation controller with the X button on the Xbox controller. But you'll learn eventually. So this is the X button. To perform it, we're going to use the lip, which huh, that's pretty straightforward. That's about it. Circle for the Xbox, it's the B button. Cause that's Stop listening. Okay, so the circle button is actually the B button for, for the Xbox 360 or Xbox One. Um, just because it's located on the same playing field as the PS3 or PS4 would. To activate that is the center puff, which is the middle one. So to keep it even shorter before I go through the whole thing, is uh, after the MP input, any direction you see, which is left, right, or center, that will indicate what holes you're using. And they always include the center second to last before the action. So we got uh, either right or left here. Then we got the center. Then we got the sip. So I'm going to probably do it right here, actually. So we either got left sip or left puff. It's only highlighted kits. Like I said, it copies it if it sees it. We have a center by itself. You can do left sip, left puff, center sip, left puff, center, center puff. You can have a right sip or right puff. I'm not including the puff part because we can already know what that is. Or we can have combinations, which is uh, left center, which is left first, center second at the same time. We can have right centers, which is both of them at the end. Or actually, matter of fact, we can have all three. I don't use it because it's really hard for me to do that. But you can do it if you if, if you can figure it out. But it's there. And then we have the more confusing parts. MP sips, sip sauce, and, F and, and uh, MP puff sauce. So it's the exact same thing. We got mouthpiece, we got direction, hole left, center action that you do and it tells you how you're performing it so in this one you would sip softly for like a, about a second and this one you will puff softly I'll probably draw a diagram other than that that's pretty much it for the basics uh, you don't have to worry about the S side because you are just writing notes to remind yourself and then uh, all these are basically tabs. 
You can have an infinite amount, maybe not infinite. You can have at least 15 tabs, but I don't know why you would. More than 5 is enough. But as you notice, these are the default he made already. So as uh, the de the left analog stick was actually controlling the left joysticks. That's what's the left analog stick. This one's actually controlling both of them, up, down to the left one. While it controls the right joystick, left and right as well. It's all in placement. This is a right analog stick. He actually made a right analog script. Right here, it controls only the right analog. As you guessed it, this one controls the D-pad, which is uh, the direction north, east, south, west. This one controls the mouse, etc., etc., etc. You can always find these combinations just by clicking the arrow, and you'll get a whole list of them. On that, thank you for watching and uh